welcome um aries um this is uh, the business reading for the four weeks period i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back Alrighty, aries let's get in this so you have the energy of a star and what is the energy of the star the energy of the star is about um you successfully overcoming um some sort of uh uh, imbalance situation that has happened okay so it is a, a linked with Aquarius so the energy of the star is linked with Aquarius okay and it's about self-confidence and um, recognition so some of you Aries uh, are going to be having and finding self-confidence in this uh, um, season and some of you are going to be having some sort of a recognition coming at you okay so this is going to be really really positive so uh, you know when we talk about um recognition um recognition is about seeing how you guys have balanced out a situation um and bring balance back uh, that was uh, um out of balance okay so you gotta understand and some of your some of you who have lost your self-confidence at the workplace so this is going to be coming back now what we have here in this four weeks what is the center the center is you young people between the ages of 18 and 45 whatever is happening between the ages of 18 and 45 people are recognizing and seeing the truth as well has been happening and transpiring so it's as, as if some of you aries and especially aries young people between the age of 18 and 35 you are going to be heartbroken okay everything is fine for the rest of you Aries but Aries between the ages of uh, 18 and 35 is going to be heartbroken because uh, a whole lot of information is going to be coming out for the rest of you Aries um the whole from um business people business people have to make some sort of a decision but what is happening and transpiring is that the energy of the eight of swords is Jupiter in Gemini. Jupiter in Gemini, okay? And Jupiter in Gemini is about respect and intellectual endeavors. Jupiter in Gemini, because Jupiter um, in Gemini is about, Gemini is intellectual, some sort of a respect, some sort of a um, um, honor is going to be coming in for people who have been working to resolve some sort of a situation okay so we see the energy of the eight of swords and the energy of the eight of swords is where information it has something to do with a gemini and uh, a gemini is going to be okay but you aries are not going to be okay whatever that you and a gemini gets on with on the work floor the gemini will be okay but you aries are not going to be okay so you aries are going to be left out in the coal so in the first week recognize that the second week you're going to be finding out that a gemini's has throw you under the bus so aries whatever is happening and transpiring it is about a gemini is going to be leaving you behind a gemini is going to be um you know letting go um and is going to be saving themselves and leaving you gemini's and you aries behind so um it could be um yeah um a situation where gemini's you and a gemini's had some sort of a problem they're going to be chosen for the gemini's aries so aries whatever is happening and transpiring um whatever that was going on between you and a gemini they are going to be choosing for the gemini's okay then we look at the sec the third week the third week is when you're balancing out some sort of a situation okay whatever you aries are balancing out in the third week of this is jupiter in capricorn jupiter in capricorn if you notice um it looks like infinity abundance is restoring some sort of a balance so the energy with jupiter in, Ca in capricorn is that uh, um some sort of a thing that you were juggling at the workplace you had multiple tasks and you were juggling at the workplace and i see it is going to be a very 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 um busy week uh, and in the third week because you are really working and juggling a whole lot of tasks in 
this week. Jupiter in Capricorn can be very good because you're um, correcting some sort of a situation or um, that has gone bad. All right. Um, and you're trying to make some sort of a correction in order for you to have this new start in um, the fourth week. So in the, the, the third week, you got to be recognizing what is transpiring. These energies shows up of what is going to be taking place. Because Jupiter in Capricorn is as, as if some of you can have luck with a situation because it have the infinity of the hate. But it is something that some of you have done in the past that you're trying to correct in the third week, okay? In the fourth week, we have inner and external success for some of you. So some of you will find this inner and external success, being successful over a um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man. Because whatever this man has done, and got you Aries in the situation, whether it's your boss or whether it is a supervisor or whether it is someone randomly on the work floor, I see that you're going to have the inner and external success in order mm, to um, rebalance a situation that was going on. Um, then we see um, in week four, desire and energy. The sparks of life. A lot of you desire a new start. A lot of you want a new start. But um, this new start is uh, is where enlightenment and intuitive truths and um, authenticity. Now, what is transpiring is that a lot of you wants a new start. Another, a lot of you wants to start a new project with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man. But this man is not interested. And you got to recognize this Aries. This man is not interested. Okay, so it could be you have a business proposal and you want to work with this man. And you're going to be recognizing, hey, um, obviously this man is not interested in what um, this business project or this proposition that I'm making. So I see a lot of you Aries have a proposition and you go to a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person, but this person is not open for this proposition because this person know who you are and know that they can't trust you. And so they are not open for this proposition that you're offering. So a lot of you are going to be heartbroken in this uh, um, period. A lot of you are going to be heartbroken because uh, the heartbreaks is because of uh, not seeing um what is transpiring okay it's as if you aries are blinded to a situation that is happening you're not seeing this what is transpiring you're really not recognizing what is happening around you and i think that this is a blinding a lot of you aries because um here you are thinking that everything is okay i can just balance, balance out the situation but what you're not recognizing is that uh, um it, it, it you know you it, it's gone too far it, it's gone too far um you this whatever it was that was going on it has gone too far and you're trying to pick up the pieces and you know uh patch the situation but you're recognizing that it is too late it is too late for something that has happened in the past so you know this is a sense that you think that everything is okay but message is going to be coming in to let you know that no, 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 everything is not okay. So however it is, it's as if some of you Aries got yourself in some sort of a clinch. Um, some of you Aries businessmen and young women, young men have got yourself, uh, or all Aries um, who's listening to this reading has got some of you a clinch in a situation where you're, you know, you're trying to balance this out in the third week, but and you're thinking, you know, I hope I my contract um extended in the fourth week, but you know, whatever it is, I see your boss, the Spices Cancer Scorpion man. No, um, he already makes up his mind about a situation. So Aries, um, it is not really um positive for you Aries because it's as if your Aries are saying yes 
but you know, I made a mistake. I made a mistake and, um, I've, uh, I'm trying to correct this uh, mistake. Um, but whatever the mistake is, it is, it has cost you Aries and it is as, it has cost you a lot. Whatever the mistake is, it has cost you and it has cost you a lot. And here you are being blindfolded because you're coming in trying to resolve this mistake, resolve this problem, resolve this issue. But it's as if a decision is already made for you, Aries. And it's as if you, Aries, is like, you know, isn't there anything else I can do? Isn't there anything else that I um, you know, can do to resolve this situation, but it's as if, um, they already made the decision. So Aries, um, you gotta be recognizing what is going on. I have a lot of you, some sort of information came, is going to be coming in the second week. The second week, some sort of information is going to be coming in. And whatever this information is that is coming in, it's a lot, like a lot of you Aries are expecting, um, was expecting something, but it's going to be getting something else. Okay. So you could have been expecting that you're going to be promoted while they be de promote you. So that sort of a thing could be working. So you have the eight and infinity twice and uh, eight and infinity, and you have three of sorts. And if you notice, there is a heartbreak that is going to be coming up for you, Aries, and there is no question about it. It's as if some of you are going to some sort of an emotional situation that is uh, um, affecting your work, okay? And it's as if you're, you know, you're saying, it's okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm can, I can get through this, I'm, I'm fine, it's okay, I can get through this. But then you're going to be recognizing in this uh, period that yeah it, it, it is not it, you know it's not fine it's not fine you really have to take a look at this whatever that is affecting you emotionally is also affecting your work at this time so you have to recognize hey you know find a, some sort of a situation find some sort of a resolution um in order um to regain um, your focus at work because um, this four weeks period, you Aries are going to be a little bit out of focus, out of Zoom um, because of something else that is affecting you, okay? So a lot of you Aries have to be um, understanding, have to be recognizing that whatever affects you out of the workplace can affect you um, at work, okay? And this is exactly what is going to be transpiring in this four weeks period. And this is why I advise a lot of people use the join button and join. Okay. You can join just to get the extended of these reading, which is just $2.99. You can join to follow all the extended and be aware and be on top of your game in order to understand, um, you know, the issues, the problem, the situation that was cre being created. You can join in so many reasons, uh, so many ways in order to um, recognizing what was happening and what was transpiring. So um, you can join in order to get answers to your question. This is a business channel. These readings are really timeless. This is what I was meant to do. So if you notice, I have career um, business and work channel because a lot of people are listening and wants to know what is the decision to make in a business situation. So a lot of you areas, my advice is going to be, um, you know, you're trying to balance out the situation at the workplace that has gone bad. It's as if you've made some sort of a wrong um, decision in, in the beginning um, or you have make a, a decision that has not favorable a situation at the workplace or you could have been having some sort of a conflict with a Gemini. They are choosing for the Gemini and now you're trying to try to work together with this Gemini, but this Gemini already um, let them make this decision. It's like this Gemini gave them an ultimatum. It's either me or the Aries, but I am not saying if that person is staying. So whoever this Gemini is and whatever is transpired, this is a situation and you can see it in the example that this person have made some sort of a 
decision by you could be having some sort of a conflict and they're saying, listen, I have had enough. Um, this person comes back every year, every year, and it's the same thing. And now I'm recognizing I can no longer deal with this. So let's just let this go. I go or this person go, but I do not want to um, work another year with a person, this person creating the same issues and the same problem over and over again. And I see that if you have a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion boss, this Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion boss is going to be chosen for the Gemini because this person have recognized that the Gemini, they need the Gemini more than they need you Aries because you Aries have been creating a lot of issue on the work floor. I know it's not good for, to hear, but Aries is the truth. I got to give you the truth. When you have a good, good, good reading, and you can see when you have a good reading, um, you will get the best advice. But right now, Aries, uh, whoever has created some sort of an issue with, with a Gemini or with someone else or created um, a situation where it did not work out for the company, I see that this is going to be affecting you. And I see they already made a decision about you so even if you try to apologize or try to start working with this person they have already made um a decision so it is what it is aries if you would like to see what is the extended it's just 2.99 to join the channel and why i say join is because when we're going deeper and looking at who and what is transpiring and what to expect from this pisces cancer or scorpion boss because you're put you you're you you aries are um, you know, or offering him some project, some deal, some, and he's like, nope, okay, I gotta go. Namaste until next time. I will see you by the mind month list, but I'm moving forward. If you'd like to see the extended of this reading, you are welcome. Namaste.